The sun brings energy and life to the world. Could it be a model for our future? Could we build our own sun here on Earth? Scientists are trying to do just that, but why? The sun brings energy to the planet, and we all need energy in our lives. At the moment, we have several ways of producing energy, but they aren't all sustainable. Fossil fuels like oil, coal and gas will one day run out. They also damage and pollute the environment. We have clean and renewable ways of producing energy like wind and solar power, but they won't be able to provide enough energy for everyone in the future. And they depend on the wind blowing and the sun shining. When it's a beautiful, bright day outside, it seems obvious that the sun is producing a lot of energy. But where does that energy come from? The secret is hidden in its core. What is that secret? The sun is driven by a process called nuclear fusion, which releases vast amounts of energy. Scientists have built miniature suns here on Earth to try and make fusion happen inside them. We can look inside the mini suns using cameras. This is a video of what happens inside a mini sun called MAST here in the UK. At the University of York, we video conference with scientists working on the mini suns at Cullum in Oxfordshire and help run experiments on them. We analyse experimental and simulation data to see how well the mini suns are working and how we can improve them. If we could make energy the way the sun does, we could change the planet when we need it most. Fossil fuels like oil are running out and we use large amounts of them. But if we used our mini suns, we would only need small quantities of water to release huge amounts of energy. But our miniature suns don't yet work perfectly. Sometimes they burn out. One of the problems is that we don't yet have materials that can contain a really hot mini sun. This video shows mast flickering and then dying out. This melts the walls of our mini suns and we have to replace them. Scientists in the Fusion Doctoral Training Network, which includes the University of York, are working on ways of stopping the suns flickering so much, which would then protect the walls. We are also trying to find better materials to build them. In France, scientists are building the biggest mini sun ever, called ITER. This simulation shows what ITER will look like when it's built. It's so big that we need robots to help build it. Ongoing work like this brings us ever closer to one day building a mini sun on Earth. We hope that in the future our mini suns will join other clean sources of energy to power our cities, reduce pollution, and keep our lives running day and night.